Okay guys, so we continue to 2.8 and right now I want to talk about energy, about work. Okay, so what is the work, the, work, the energy that I, knew I need to put into pushing this conductor inside the capacitor? It's not coming easily, right? I need to push it and fight the electric field, right? So that's gonna be our question, okay? How much energy did we spend? What was the work that being done in order to push the conductor inside the capacitor, the original one, okay? So work is equal to the difference in energy, but we already used the letter E for electric field. So let me introduce to you delta U, which means energy in uh, this class. And, and we are interested in what is UF minus UI. What is the difference in the final state, which means the conductor, the conductive material is inside the capacitor already. And what's the energy? when the conductive was not in the picture at all. Okay, so that's what we want to know, this difference. Okay, in order to do it, you need to know what is the potential energy of a capacitor. How much energy the capacitor have. And I'm gonna write it, and I want you to look carefully at and see if it reminds you something, which is not kinetic energy, okay? Not kinetic energy. It's half multiplied by C, multiply by V squared. So this is the potential energy inside a capacitor, okay? And this is the term. This is remind you something from physics one. For me, it's remind, for me, it's remind me spring, right? The potential energy in a spring, which is half K delta X squared. And delta x squared, this is the same idea. Why? Because what is k? k is due to geometry of the spring itself. If it's short spring, if it's long spring, if it's stiff spring, soft spring. So this is k. And the same thing is c. c is the geometry, the plate is big, is small, the material, if there's dielectric material between the plates. So this is c. So k and c playing the same role. And what is delta x? Is the location of the spring, right? Let's draw a spring. So this is a spring. This is the mass m. And I move it from its rest position to this position. So this is actually delta x. And what is voltage? Voltage is the change, right, in the energy. It's change vf minus vi. That is what, what is V, the voltage, the capacitor. What's the voltage here? What's the voltage here? How much we change it, right? So this is the idea of the potential energy. And I want you to keep that in mind. So what we need to do, we need to find UF and UI with this equation. Pretty straightforward, not a complicated task. So let's do it. So what is U, UI? UI, it's half multiplied by F0, okay, at the beginning the capacitor holds all the voltage, right? So V0 and, uh, and it was multiplied by uh, the, uh, sorry, uh, uh, okay, so it, it's a, uh, okay, I'm gonna write it in the same order, it's mixed for me here, but I want it to be simplified as here, so it half V0 squared, right? And right now this is A, Epsilon zero over D. Okay, so we found the first one. We got 50% of the question behind us. So now let's find you final, which is gonna be a little bit more of a challenge. So we know this is half. The capacitance at the end change because we push a conductor. Remember? So we had we had a new term which we can call it CF or C total, which we found the equivalent one. So this is CF, and we also have VF squared, which we also found in the previous sections. So we actually have everything, and we need just to, uh, to, uh, to put it in a simpler way together. So let's clean this up. Perfect. So this was UF equal to half. This is going to be CF. Uh, and something that I want also to mention here 
let's uh, let's put you not always have to write it in that way why because remember that q equals cv so we can actually play with this term and change the potential energy if this is helpful for you so i did this just to show you that i can use this trick if i don't know v or i already define q so maybe i'm gonna play with them because i know the relation between them so for here i can say that uf is actually equal to half and i use this idea q squared over cf it's the same thing right i just change i get get rid of v right that's what i did here so i can use this term and we already found what is q why because we said that qf equal to qi of course everything here is should it must be f because we talk about the final state qi equal qf because we open the gate the charge is stuck here cannot move to here right so qf equal to qi and we found already qi perfect so this is equal to and clean this one perfect okay so half multiplied by the charge which was a epsilon zero d multiplied by v zero this is q equal cv right c and v this is square and divided and this is actually qi okay this is the reason we have here v zero and only d and this is divided by cf which is a epsilon zero over d bar because we push this conductive material inside we have here also minus l okay and this is equal to um, this one equal to v zero square a epsilon zero over 2d you can do the math it's really easy 1 minus l over d and what i really want to show you here is that we need to what we actually need to do is to find delta u right which is to take uf and subtract from it ui okay so let's do that as well so this gives us v0 square i take all the constant outside okay you see this I'm gonna take it outside, this can stay outside, this can stay outside, this can stay outside, this can stay outside, perfect. So we have V squared A epsilon zero over 2D. And what we're left with is one minus LD, which is this term, minus one, minus one. So this cancel out and we left with that the total and the, the difference in the energy is actually minus l v0 i want you to know this is minus we're going to talk about it a epsilon over 2d okay and what we saw here is that actually the energy the difference is negative what does it mean when you say something is have a negative word for example this pen above the ground and I have the gravitational field, if I'm gonna leave it, it's gonna fall, okay? If the energy is equal to zero, for example, it's standing on here, okay? So the force applying equal to the normal force from this paper sheet, so nothing gonna change. This is a case of a, the work equal to zero, okay? But if a work is positive, for example, I have here on the ground some uh, heavy, heavy 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 thing to lift okay for example a dumbbell or something so i need to put positive work to take it okay and negative work is if i would not do anything it's going to happen i need to put this amount of energy to make it equal to zero right so what's going to happen is when i'm going to come with my conductor to the capacitor <laughs> It's gonna suck it in okay so that's the idea why we have a negative a negative sign here so that was the question about the capacitor that we put the conductor inside of it now we're going to move to a, another question different one which is going to be question three good luck